The mouth shape of any fish is often a clear indication of their feeding habits. With their big rubbery lips on the end of a telescopic mouth, these goldies are predominantly a bottom feeder, although they do chase bait fish as well. They have a clear preference for yabbies, and in the tropics any flat that's dotted with yabby holes is likely to attract goldies, but flats with wheat beds are also excellent places to find them. The clearest indication of a flat where they've been feeding are the small craters they leave when they excavate yabbies from their holes. Goldies feeding in shallow water stand right up on their heads and their tails clearly break the surface as they root out a morsel. They're often found with stingrays and a flat that has a good population of rays is likely to be visited by goldies. Tails can be spotted from a long way off and a fly fisherman should always be alert for any sign of a tail in water less than a metre deep. On most flats around the country, expect to find smaller goldies from three to five kilos. These can be encountered in big schools. Tailing there now. But in the shallows, these can be a real handful. Unless they're on bait fish, it's crucial that you get your fly near the bottom where they're feeding. Just dead by it. Oh, look at him running out there. There he is, buggy. He's inhaled that fly, Certainly did suck it in, eh? Well done! Oh, that's a good fish. That's much bigger than we thought it was. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you sucked it right down, didn't you?